client of mine uh, who was so obsessed, uh, he was a runner, he's a runner, and he was very obsessed with the time, his time, no matter what happened, workouts, races, and, and he'd constantly be looking at his watch. He'd, he'd have a heart monitor, he'd look at time, he'd be listening, he wanted to know how many beats, per whatever, and he went through this whole thing, and then on, I remember on one run, I went out with him actually on this run, and he had to stop in the middle of the run because he wanted to check his watch and see what was going on. So I gave him a suggestion. And what I said is, look, I said, what time is it? And he goes like this, and he said, and he looked at his watch, and he said, it's, uh, it's 11.13. Okay, great. I said, what I want you to do is, I want you to take that watch and put it away, and I'm going to get you a, one of these little toy watches, and what we're going to do is, we're going we're to let the toy watch tell the real time. And we took the glass off the watch, and, I, and, and the numbers, and I put up piece of paper and I wrote in red N-O-W now and I said here now that's the watch I want you to wear and he looked at it and he said I said to him what time is it now and he said it's now I said and that's what you got to remember it's always now and forget about the future forget about what your time's going to be well anyway long story short uh, the very next race that he ran he didn't even wear a watch he didn't he didn't wear the watch with now or or any watch with anything, he ran through that race and he ran his absolute best time for the marathon and he broke his personal best by about six minutes.